Good morning and welcome to our daily devotion. This is our devotion for Friday, December 15th. And I got to tell you, as I read this passage the first time and the second time and the third time, um, I wasn't really sure of how it related to Advent, how it was a, a verse that helped us prepare for the coming of the Lord. But as I got into it, it started to make more sense and the Holy Spirit worked through my ignorance and, and helped me to get a little bit better understanding and I'm hoping to share that with you today. Um, our reading comes from 1 Thessalonians 5 beginning at verse 16. Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances for this is the will in Christ Jesus for you. Do not quench the spirit, do not despise prophecies, but test everything Hold fast to what is good. Abstain from every form of evil. Now may the God of peace himself sanctify you completely. And may your whole spirit and soul and body be kept blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. He who calls you is faithful. He will surely do it. Now some of you might say it right away. Because some of you are just sharper than I am. But here's the thing, when I read this, I really focused on the first part of the reading, which are a lot of law statements, things that I should be doing. Rejoice, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, telling us what the will of God is. Don't quench the spirit. Don't despise prophecies. Test everything. Okay. Um, it's a Christian message. It's a biblical message. It's something that we as Christians should keep in mind, but... Where's the preparing for the coming of Christ? Where is Advent? Well, you see, that's where it comes to the second part. Because this is actually kind of Paul's prayer for us. That the Holy Spirit may work in us to sanctify us. Now, what sanctified means is uh, equipped by the power of God to live a godly life. If we are being sanctified, we are being equipped to live a godly life. But the whole point of this is so that we can be prepared for, you guessed it, the Lord's coming. Now, do we have to live a godly life? Do we have to live this sanctified life that the scripture talks about to receive God's gift of grace? No. No. In fact, grace is quite the opposite. God comes to us in our brokenness. He comes to us in our sinfulness and makes us his children in spite of our sin. In fact, Romans says God demonstrates his love for us in this. While we we're still sinners, Christ died for us. So Christ comes to us when we're still broken, when we're still sinners. But the Holy Spirit works through us and calls us to faith so that we can begin to rejoice always and give thanks in all circumstances. Because that's God's will. God wants us to be joyful. God wants us to be thankful. God wants us to be able to talk to him anytime, any place, and feel comfortable doing that. And as we, as Christ comes into our hearts through God's gift of grace, we have that ability. Now the warning Paul gives us is don't quench the spirit. You see, the world and our sinful nature and Satan would would tries to take away that joy so we can't rejoice. It tries to prevent us from talking with our Heavenly Father in prayer. It, it tries, to, tries to make us ungrateful for everything that God has given us, not even see the blessings. But when we don't quench the Spirit, when we let the Spirit at work in our hearts, the Spirit prepares us. The Spirit prepares us for the coming of Christ and helps us to see all these things that we have to rejoice for. All these, all these opportunities we have to talk with God, all these opportunities, all these things we have been given that we can give thanks for. So as we prepare this Advent season for the coming of Christ, we're asking the Holy Spirit to work in us to continue to help prepare us to live as God would have us live. So while we're in the kingdom now where we have to deal with sin and brokenness, the Holy Spirit works in us so we can begin to live a little bit like that kingdom not yet, that kingdom that is to come. So we can begin to see what it's like to be joyful continuously, to pray without ceasing, and to give thanks in all circumstances. It's kind of a good way to prepare for Advent. Be joyful, be thankful, and pray without ceasing. Speaking of which, let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank and praise you for the wonderful gift of the Holy Spirit that you give us. 
through a gift of your grace. We would ask you to be with us so we don't quench the work of the Holy Spirit, but, but feed off of it and let your Spirit help us grow in faith so that we can see the joy around us and everything that you have blessed us with to be thankful for. Lord, help us to pray continuously, just to be able to bring our prayers and requests and our joys and our sorrows and our sadnesses and just lay them at your feet. Lord, help us to see you as the, the best friend we will ever have and the person with which we can share everything. Lord, in your son's name, we ask all these things. Amen. You guys have a great day. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow for our bonus Saturday devotion. Talk to you later. Bye.